first options, has good tools to like reflect projectiles yeah. or just dash tag into that zone that Misol's fighter tries to yeah, kinda, keep it on the way. Kinda could, he could kind of force a Cantrip to approach, and Cantrip can do the same, but I feel yeah. as though Fox just has better approach options. Yeah, definitely. So let's see if Cantrip can set up his game here. The side B, the tornado, is a very dangerous projectile. It's quite easy to avoid, but when it hits you, it hits hard because it confirms into up B or up air, which kills. So you gotta yeah. be careful. With up B, though, I see people fall out of it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's not the most consistent confirm, but like I, I, I say, it works like 80% of the time. So not bad. Oh, and oh. that's that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Song. Okay. That was such a nice catch of the double jump and then converted that yeah. into the boom, the, I don't know how to call that, the side B, I just gonna call it side B for now. Yeah, just called out the horizontal recovery right there, really. Yeah, Zodia so. Zodia not respecting that tornado enough. Yeah. Good showcase of uh, Mi Salt Spider's strength there by Cantrip. Right off the bat. Lands with that downer too. That downer is actually, okay. Yeah, reflecting. Yeah, okay. it's not gonna <laughs> confirm into up air. Maybe you gotta be a little bit quicker there. Yeah, maybe at a lower percent as well. Yeah, true. But oh yeah. Okay. Back Fox, bread and butter stuff. Baiting out Gallop attacks and then hitting with a back air. Oh, I, I, I actually forgot. He has a um, catch up as a reflector as well on his down B. So he's yeah, gonna be able yeah. to just like win this projectile war really. Like, oh, oh reversing the AP. That's a very tricky scenario. You can get clipped by that easily. It has a big hitbox behind it, so you gotta be careful. And yeah. that's, I thought he would go for the up air. This time I think he, he could have confirmed it. Oh, oh he chalked him the other direction, yeah, unfortunately. That was definitely that's unintended. It. He tried to up be there probably with a very diagonal angle, but not quite the perfect sick position. Right. Okay, yeah, that's, that's really good damage and Short hop. grab. Yeah, down throw right there for it. Yeah, right. slowly building up the damage. Yeah, he's just trying to chip him as much as he can yeah, now. This is going really downhill after the SD from Cantrip. Alright, gets his first hit in. Try doing up tilt up air. Another thing uh, Swordfighter can do in this matchup, or n not in this matchup in particular, but just yeah. in general. Well, it's a, is, it has uh, a very narrow window, so. Yeah, down throw up air? No. Okay, yeah. yeah. Back air. Catching the landing. Uh, yeah, Cantrip is not happy about this. He was doing very well before he killed himself with that chakram. And, uh, yeah, buddy, he can come back from this. Yeah, it was, it, it's just, like, a little hard for him because, like, Fox is so quick and he ru mm -hmm. rushed him down. He wasn't able to really, like, uh, get that wall he wanted to get going on. Yeah, definitely. Just got to stay composed, shake that game off. He's going to stick it out, though, and go uh, sword fighter again. Yeah, he has his Diddy, but I don't know. Maybe he's not confident in the D for this tournament or this matchup. Yeah. He definitely uses mostly Sword Fighter. Uh, up tilt jab from Exodia. Yeah. Go 24. Oh, okay. I think there's a parry on the forward wow. area. I really love these short hops. Like, instead of going for a grab, he just short hops over the opponent, baiting out a spot dodge, and then goes for a nail or whatever area he feels like. Yeah, something that gives him more uh, reward. Yeah, and I think grab. that was actually possible to roll through the jab at one point. So that's one thing you have to keep in mind. After 10 consecutive hits you can roll through stuff that you normally couldn't it's a yeah. mechanic in the game it's the stuff that shield that has you in shield stun as well yeah although there are some jabs that have like a behind hitbox that'll still hit you yeah you gotta be kind of close so you don't get caught while rolling oh catch up was in yeah that was a meaty up air a nice landing up air too you don't really see sword fighter do that definitely all right catch up trying to get oh yeah the double reflect there. that's yeah. a dangerous game you're playing there I wonder how powerful the tornado gets. Again, going for the reverse there. It has a risk to it because you extend your hurt box above the stage. Okay, nice. that was smart from Kajab. Nice spacing on the tornado to get him yeah, down. Definitely. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Yeah. Good DI out by Ixodia, making it really hard to get a confirm of the tornado. Yeah, Ixodia is a very patient player. Like, he goes for a lot of grabs of Tomahawks, and you wouldn't expect it. And that was one reversed upbeat too much there. Like, yeah. Definitely doing it a bit too much. Yeah, it has strong counterplay to it, so you cannot do it too often. Dash attack evening it out though. Yes. Dash attacks in this game, a lot of kill power. 
Oh, that good wait, and that's three up airs, four, four up airs. Up airs. <laughs> All right, not not a fifth <laughs> one though. No. Catch your blinding with down air. Yeah, but that is 70, 85 percent now. Ooh, and already has 111. Yeah, down to up air. Yeah, definitely a fox vortex stock here. That was so scary for Ketchup. And he's looking for these backers and up smash now. Okay. That didn't... What happened there? Did you see uh, that? Yeah. It didn't even hit the shield. It doesn't really have that much shield on the tornado. Yeah, like the tornado just passed through him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right, he doesn't go for the reverse attack. Oh my gosh. Exodia shore hopping right there. That's yeah. good. Yeah, Another really good catch. Please back the backer. These sled trap situations by Exodia are very on point. Yeah, he, he's just so scary to deal with. <laughs> yes. Good call out there. Now it's Cantrip's chance to make something happen. Oh, that comes back! <laughs> like a little boomerang. Full hop nares the spot dodge. Again there, like... Cantrip really likes the spot dodge a lot and Exodia is taking advantage of that. Yeah, because Exodia's just like so good at waiting as well, so like holding shield against him just look, looks uncomfortable as well. Yes, again. Down he's throw. like going for so many tomahawks, he almost looks like Smash 4 Fox. Oh my gosh. Alright. Air dodges to the left. Oh, that was good, nice. Good I think it was a weak hitbox though by the upbeat. Yeah, but forwarder this one to upbeat. Still not doing it. Okay, oh, lads with down air. <laughs> Grinds him all the way down to the stage. Oh, he was ready for the tornado follow-up, but he did not get it. Yeah, you gotta kind of predict sometimes. Oh, and that's... Oh, that was gonna confirm it to an upper. Exodia died in on that. Yeah, and... Really. Okay, but this is best of five. Okay, it's not over. Unfortunate for Cantrip. Yeah. yeah. Just being put in circumstances he's not quite used to, I'm seeing from Exodia. Yeah, definitely. It's like he's not getting the confirms that he wants in the right situations. Yeah. Which is, uh, of course, a heartbreaker because, you know, you had it somehow, but then you don't have it, and it's really hard to come back from that mentally. If you're like, this stock should have already been gone like a minute ago or something, and you're <laughs> still there, and you're like stuck in that mindset. Especially in this game where like almost anything can kind of kill. Yeah. And it's very important to get these early kills. I catch up on the ledge almost immediately in this game. Yeah. Oh, air so yes, presence, the pressure is already there. Yeah, I'm noticing a lot more directional air dodge that's coming in from Kanchip as well. Mm -hmm. Maybe try to mix up his defensive options since... Yeah, that is just we saw that down is actually positive on shield, I think. So, very good poking tool. It doesn't confirm it too much, but... Yeah, it puts on the pressure in the, in the little poke games. Oh, did not up to Fox as he got back in. Yeah, good timing on the landing there. All right, that's the second time. Ooh. Okay, cl cl clutch reflected. So. Yeah, that already scares me a little. And oh, air dodge it too. Yeah, percent's a little bit too high for a clean air up smash conversion. It looks hard for me, Sword Fighter, to combo Fox. Really. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but these standard confirms haven't been working out too well so far for Cantrip, except for the very first stock where he got the tornado up B. His fair one follow-ups haven't been too bad. But yeah. Short empty hop again from Zodia on the grab. Yes. He's a very calm and collected player. And this is one thing that shows in his gameplay. Okay, oh, good wait dash there. Tech. Falling up here. Alright. The stray back here gonna work out for Zodia there. Oh, he gets hit by the chocolate catch. Oh, that was an edge guard situation, unfortunately. Yeah, not sure if Misal Spider has good tools to catch that up beat from below. Up air. Not gonna find it. Yeah. At that yeah. point, it becomes more read based than, than a confirm. Yeah, uh, like at this point, totally the tornado. Doing a very good job at uh, mixing up his landing options. Spot dodge the forward tilt right there. Yeah, get carried away a little bit by the platform. Exodia doesn't fall for it. He's always within roll range. Yeah. It's like one of these Fumi once situations. He got hit by it, but that's it. 
Not anymore. Oh, that narrowly Barely not cat hitting. Trip. Yeah, a little bit too high there. I think Uptil will kill at this percent for. Okay, oh, forward tilt this too, yeah. Why not? Wow, but that chase is gonna take yeah. the stock cleanly off, so full stock ahead now, Exodia. A lot of people popping off for Proto right there. Yeah, we got a lot of big matches happening that are sadly not on stream. Well, we cannot stream everything, of course. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, down throw, up B. Wow, he yeah. called out the DIN on, on that. Yeah. Proto beat Qfax we just heard, so that's that's an upset, definitely. Uh, Alright, back throw from Exodia. Tried back yep. in the platform, but Catcher could have shielded. Oh, yeah. Exodia does not get a control off that, <laughs> I don't think. Yeah, I think he could, but he is still not like, quite sure of the properties of the move. Yeah, it's just something I think you'd have to take time with, really. Yeah. Which is weird. All right, up throw. All right, up tilt back here. Yeah, Nick Solia seems to be running away with this right now. Doesn't down smash him. Yeah, don't want to take any risks here. You just want to get the save confirmed, so maybe that's going to bite him. <laughs> that was nice. He wave landed on the platform and then jumped. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of melee feeling here. Okay, this time escaping the... Corner situation. Ooh, Ooh. wow. Oh, that's <laughs> All right, we just heard, I just heard now Lemon is out of the tournament. He lost to Pound Cake. That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. Apparently wow. Lemon just lost to Pound Cake, which is really definitely big a upset. big upset. But yeah, this end, yeah. Exodia takes a 3-0 over 